Right, ladies and gents, happy Saturday to you. Uh, we are going to get you nice and sweaty and warm and ripped and stuff right for this session today or with this session today. Now, to get you started, our warm up is going to be two rounds of 10 single dumbbell snatches. So you're going to grab one dumbbell or a kettlebell or whatever your object is. Right, that object starts off between your feet, guys. We have seen before that if that dumbbell is too far forward, you tend to use your back too much. All right, yes. So you want to start it between your feet, get your hips nice and low, and drive out of your legs. The bulk of this power comes out of your legs and hips, and then finishing it off with a shrug and a pull to the top to extend there. As you can see, knee dream there, that's perfect. Nice. So 10 single dumbbell snatches. Then we hop on into eight air squats. Okay, you know the drill by now. Hips nice and low, chest up. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay, so eight of those. Heading into six burpees. Right, so chest on the ground and step it up or hop it up if you want, whatever you do. Perhaps in your first run, you can step it down and up. In your second round, you can jump it up. And then ending it off with four push ups. Push-ups, go nice and straight, chest on the ground, thighs touching the ground, up and down, and if you need to scale, you can have your knees on the ground. Good, okay. This, guys and girls, then brings us to our workouts, uh, which is called rigs. Now, rigs is 10 rounds for time. Yes, you heard it right. It is 10 rounds for time, but this is a fun one, ladies and gents. Your 10 rounds starts off with either a 200 meter run or if you don't have that space, 20 sets of 10 meter shuttle runs or 30 mountain climbers. Okay, so for the mountain climbers, top of the push up position, core nice and active and you're going to be pulling your knees up to your chest, all right, not letting your hips sag, boom, 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 30 of those. After that, you are going into one devil's press. Okay, so for your devil's press, you're gonna grab your dumbbells or whatever you have there, okay? You're gonna drop down into basically a push-up. All right, boom, getting that dumbbell overhead after that. So essentially competing a burpee with a weight. Now, if you only have one weight, you're gonna do one rep on each side. If you have two reps, two weights obviously, you're gonna be shot. Okay, after that, 30 double dumbbell power clean and jerks. Okay, so essentially for this, you need two dumbbells, but if you don't, you can just do three on the one side and three on the other side. Okay, so you take your two objects, front of that dumbbell head or object touching the ground, hips nice and low, driving out of the hips, getting it onto your shoulders, and from there, a jerk towards the top. So dip and drive to get those dumbbells overhead, okay? Three of those. After that, we go into five strict handstand push-ups. Now, for those of you that can do strict handstand push-ups, you're gonna pop up onto or against the wall, all right? Head onto the floor and full extension at the top. If you can't do strict handstand push-up, you're just gonna do five handstand push-ups. So for the five, get your hands and feet on the ground, Hips nice and high, as high as you can get your hips, guys. Chin tucked onto your chest, and you are gonna drop your head down to slightly in front of your hands. Yes, creating a bit of a triangle there. And when you push back, have a look at me there. She's pushing her hips back over her feet, okay? A lot of guys just do kind of um, a decline push-up. See there, the head pops out, head is not on the chin anymore, and you can really see the difference between that and the actual bike push up. Okay, so you can see the lower body hinging forwards and backwards as she does that bike push up. Focus on that, guys. If you have any questions on that, if you want to know if you, whether you're doing it correct, take a video of it and send it to me or myself, and we will have a look at that and we can guide you through that. Okay, guys, so that is your workout for today. It is 10 rounds for time, okay? After that, we are gonna finish it off with a lacquer midline Tabata, okay? Now, Tabata, you know the draw by now, 
eight rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Okay, so we're going to be incorporating three different movements into this one where you're going to be working for 20 seconds and resting for 10, for 10 seconds. Your first portion there is eight rounds of Russian twists. Now, if you have a weight, okay, you can grab that in front of your chest, sitting with your feet on the ground, knees raised, leaning back and touching that weight to the side. Guys, the focus on this portion is the twist of your torso. Okay, so try not to lean too much towards the one side, but rather twist your torso. And also, like you saw Lee doing there, don't just twist your hands, but use your torso. Okay, if you want to make it more challenging, you can lean further back. If you don't have an object, or if that is too tough for you, you can do it without an object. Okay, so the weight speeds up for you, and you can even lift your feet to make it slightly tougher, right? Eight rounds of that, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest. Then we go into eight rounds of tuck sit-ups. Okay, so kind of like a normal sit-up, on your back, knees, ex feet extended, and putting your knees up to your chest and extending, boom. Feet stay off the ground, as you can see there, touching behind your head once again, and coming back up. You wanna make it slightly easier, you can drop your feet onto the ground, okay? far out in front and when you come back up yes then you can keep your feet on the ground okay eight rounds of 20 seconds work 10 seconds rest of that and then lastly eight rounds of front planks so these are normal planks guys we're basically going to plank for 20 seconds and rest okay. you can see lee is keeping her core nice and straight there all right not any her core sack but also not pushing her bum up too high nice and active core there Boom, hold it for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. Guys, you know these by now, you have done them before. So it is all about sustainability. How long you can keep doing this. So I'd like you to try and keep your rep range within that 20 seconds working time, kind of consistent all the way through. I don't want you to start at 47 reps in your first 20 seconds and then end with only like three or four reps. Okay, so try and find a consistent number that you can hit without having to only do 10 seconds of work and then say no, boom, Martin said I should only get five breaks around. So I'm stopping now. Okay, try and work for that 20 seconds. Slow it down if you need to, but don't rush it. Don't push it too much. Okay, work smart guys. Enjoy your Saturday, like a and stuff, and see you Monday.